Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, so at Republic Mod Monday, and today the episode is full of controversies. Yeah, you probably see by the title uh, what the controversy is, but first things first, we're going to get to to Mr. Joe in the in the end, of course. Uh, first disclaimer, this is just some of the mods I noticed, I liked, and uh, there's a lot of, a lot of, and plenty beautiful mods and maps and everything else. So this is just something that caught my eye and I thought you guys going to enjoy it. So hopefully you will. Mr. Comrade Joe, Arctic Series 111-84. Series 111-84 is a very common panel building type uh, built over the USSR. This mod focuses on particular of the specific design and aesthetics that was designed for a pioneer industrial cities of the Arctic Circle, in particular Norilsk and Dudinka. Now I'm going to leave you to go and check out the link in the description to see more details about this, but this, Mr. Joe, this is classic, Mr. Joe, uh, Comrade Joe, he has amazing, I'm a big fan, he has amazing mods, uh, you should go and check all of them out, but this is something that's going to interest me, especially in my Let's Plays right now, because we're playing in a polar circle ish area of Alaska uh, this is quite iconic buildings and uh, this is next to I believe Chernobyl buildings I think this would be my favorite ones Norilsk and the polar, polar circle buildings okay how does it compare to vanilla building price wise and capacity Right, on the right hand side we have two types of buildings, one of them is small, a capacity of 73 I believe, which will be, com we will compare to this one with 72, and then we have 135 I believe, uh, compared to this 137, something like that. We're gonna compare those, well we can real quickly check the one on the left, uh, on the right hand side would be the 127 compare 135, and you can see here the 73 versus 72 one, that would be... I believe the one over here that we constructed. So how does it compare with the modded buildings that we have over here? So if we go to our mod sections, if we go to our show all mods all the way in the end where the newest installed mods usually are, we're gonna find Mr. Joe's building. So that would be the one with 72. We can check this one first on the right hand side as you can see it here uh, would be this one. Now. Uh, it does require more steel, does require more prefabs, does require less asphalt, but everything else more and more or less it's the it's the less usually asphalt, gravel, conc asphalt and gravel are usually the side, the, the, the footprint of the building. While well, this one has a bigger footprint, their capacities are the same. This one does require more construction material and, it, I, and thus I hereby declare you to be realistic and comparable to one of the buildings and not at all cheaty ones. Now if you go for the uh, mods and we find our big, big building 135 that we're going to have here, we have on the right hand side the 135. 27 building um so uh, the one on the left the modded one mr comrade joe's one requires more steel more prefab you know where we're going with this these buildings are more expensive than vanilla ones and definitely fit in fit in this game you need to check out these ones in the link in the description of the video right mr novu and uh, village bakehouse village bakehouse is made from a primitive material such as rough hewn logs and rubble stone consumes wood and grain to produce whole wheat bread cakes and muffins located under the factory made with a building error now this building is a little bit more productive than the your usual vanilla building it does require half the materials well at least crops it does require wood so that means you're gonna have a little bit more logistics problems with this but it is quite productive it, it requires half as half as much workers for the same productivity i believe it requires eight people while vanilla building does require the only building we have vanilla one here it requires uh, 170 workers to produce 20 tons of food while this one requires 20 times less workers to produce 10 times less food more or less this is a rough estimate but it does require wood which is going to be complicated as well you need to supply those so you have one of those now the, the, how does it compare to this one actually it doesn't this building is huge enormous while well, vanilla one i'm going to check just the price wise because it's not really comparable it uh, requires 10,000 rubles which is even not that cheap i have to say 10,000 rubles 
nobles is quite expensive for building of this size 70 tons of gravel but there you go i think it's quite realistic especially if you're starting really really early check out the link for the description of this mod Mr. Robs 074 office building based on a real building in Lublin, Poland works as a city hall, uh, but the main point is re to reduce employment, unemployment in bigger cities. Employs 250 people. Now we're gonna have two mods from Mr. Robs. They're both city halls. They are supposed to be working as a city halls, uh, and this is something that I find myself in problems with. Uh, we have uh, sometimes we have too much uh, unemployment, and these are perfect, absolutely perfect. What we need. In in these cases to employ people people in big cities so these two office buildings you're gonna have both of those mods linked in the description of the video they are absolute eye candy of course i installed the skins as well as you can see both of these buildings can have skins on them different colors of facade and all that good stuff how does it compare to vanilla building so we have here on the right hand side city hall uh, the vanilla one that requires 1122 work days to finish and Mr. Rob says let's start with the big building first first big building looks like it had needs just under four times as much work days it does have more steel but uh, equivalent it does have 244 tons of bricks when vanilla only has 24 this is definitely definitely a realistic price of a building because it's multiple times more expensive than the vanilla ones what about the cheaper version here the cheaper version would be this office building here that has comparable just a little bit less work days to finish it does have, require much less steel it does require twice the amount of bricks it does require um a lot of a lot of concrete now i'm really interested to see price wise uh this is 34,000. while the vanilla one smaller one is 21,000. i believe they are comparable in price uh and in equal equally equally uh realistic to use any of those two buildings it does require many many more workers i believe this one only requires 25 to 30 people so definitely this is something that you're gonna see in my let's plays by now you all should be no <laughs> should notice this iconography and the style this is of course mr pyro high-tech prefab uh, apartments this is something futuristic this is something from the future of your soviet union carrying on tradition of pre uh, prefabricated apartments construction these high-tech and luxury apartments house your workers in all the splendor of your uh, republic can uh, provide an affordable cost the plants yada 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 you guys are gonna read more about it i'm not gonna read the description of the video if you're interested in something than this like this this is absolutely amazing it does have parking lots as well that have entrance and exit as well on both sides i'm gonna demonstrate that and of course this is not comparable to anything uh, that you can find out there 1000 well it is with oh in not in vanilla but mr pyro has similar buildings futuristic soviet uh, style construction with a uh, huge shops huge uh, stores you need to go and check out even factories i believe railroad construction companies and uh, and uh, rail engine construction companies so it's like absolutely amazing you need to check out uh, mr pyro's work now this building here doesn't require heating it has self heating as most of his mods this is intentional because this is a futuristic building that does have its own exhaust on top i don't see it cr producing the pollution at the moment it doesn't seem like it does but this is not comparable to vanilla i'm not even gonna compare it i'm just gonna say that if you go to a mod section and you check out this building this is high-tech flats that they require one and a half million to be finished one and a half million in the beginning of the game bear in mind that some of these smaller buildings require only ten thousand rubles to be finished so this is something really really pricey and this is something for the future of our your soviet republic from the future going back to the past mr novu and rondur th rondur theater a large wooden theater originally built in 19, uh, 1600s or or 17th century it was made from primitive materials such as rough uh, rough hewn logs and rubble stone employs 20 workers uh, can accommodate 100 visitors it's also a tourist attraction you have two different models one of them is a little bit on a dirty side one of them is on a cleaner side you can see them here Price-wise, they are around 29,000. And how does it compare to vanilla buildings? We can go and compare it uh, price-wise. So that would be a theater. So we have a Republic theater here. It's three times less expensive. And this theater, of course, it's much smaller. Um, of course, it's much rougher. And I believe it has even lower rating. This is one uh, 2.4, while this one is 1.8. So this is something for your early starts. If you want some culture for your 
primitive citizens, this is definitely something you wanna check out. Tractor, tractor, stro, stroj tel, telnin, uh, zavod. Sorry, this is my horrible, horrible Russian pronunciation, and it's probably uh, mistaken. But anyway, this is Mr. Legend Gamer, of course, the classic, uh, classic Mr. Legend Gamer factory. This is probably the most realistic representation of the factories that were built in Soviet uh, Soviet republics because they were being like warehouses, simple and straight to the point. One of my old models, I decided that, so that the works would uh, not be lost. Uh, to spread them out a uh, little. The building is a car factory uh, to carry out the lore. It is worth pr uh, producing only tractors, excavators, tractors, bulldozers uh, and construction cranes on it. The model does not shine with the detail but from far the rules require 340 workers and 214 engineers. Like I said this is extremely basic but this is something that you would find in your in, in your Soviet Union especially in the early days you know fit for purpose you know just build it. This is definitely function over form rather than form over function. Now this is something definitely I'm gonna be using in my let's plays. If you want more details descriptions in other languages Languages, check out the link in the description of the video. Mr. Krinkov and 2K22 Tangaska with armor cage works as a bus until they add military vehicles, cost 35,000 rubles. Now, I think the point was missed here <laughs> with the Mia. Uh, it can work as a bus actually, maybe even as a car. No, it can work as a bus. So that transports five people, that's fine if you want to use it like that. But I probably most of you guys are going to be building those in car factories as a military unit and then exporting them. This is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Now, price of it, uh, I'm just gonna go and confirm this. Of course, this would be purchased for by rubles. And if you go for buses, will it be here? Yes, it doesn't have any icon, but it's 54,000 rubles. Now you can check out that it's way, way more expensive than any other vehicle in here. Now this is definitely my favorite, uh, let's call it a tank. I know it's an anti-aircraft vehicle from the Russian military. Tangaska is absolutely my favorite. Uh, it is kind of successor to the uh, Shilka uh, anti-aircraft gun which had I had a, that model as a, as a child I had a, it's just a Yugoslavian version of it uh, Shilka with four machine guns this is two machine guns much bigger caliber and has eight rockets so I'm, I'm very well familiar with this model and this is one of my favorite let's call it armored vehicles it's not really a tank uh, in the world so this is definitely gonna end up here so if you want to start exporting this is controversy number one of these episodes of, of the of the mods in this episode if you want to export military Military? Now you can. Second, but the most controversial uh, icon here is Mr. Josef Vissirionovich Stalin. This is the statue of Stalin. We have, uh, of course, I use some other models just to make it look <laughs> a little bit nicer. Now this is going to be, I have no political opinion about this. I know that this is going to cause a lot of controversy and comments, uh, especially bad ones in there. But this is definitely that uh, you can't, you can't build a Soviet Republic without uh, having Mr. Man of Steel over there. Now this mod was made by Bremer, you can see it in the description of the video. And uh, this was requested at the same time and is going to be hated at the same time. Now I made a list with a little bit flags from other mods, of course this is not part of the same mod, but I placed it there just to make it look more presentable. So we have a statue of Stalin, what's your opinion on that? In the comment section, I would be, I would love to read some of those, I, I don't mind even <laughs> taking a hate for this one, because it definitely causes nobody nobody has no opinion on this statue anyway link in description of the video and comment section hit it and controversy number three socialist or Soviet Republic of Cyprus uh, of course you have a description it's made by Mr. V Vipernon uh, you have uh, right 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 uh, this is Socialist Republic of Cyprus uh, and you have description of this in oh right you have it in Turkish and Greek so this is gonna be interesting I wonder what the future of Cyprus will be in real life but um Nowadays it just causes controversies and I have friends on both sides from Fa uh, Famagusta I believe town and then we have of course Nicosia the capital city which is divided in two parts but I will not go into politics of this I will go into geography so this you can see the high mountains in the central Cyprus and then you have north side or the I believe Turkish Republic of Cyprus is the official name uh, in the north side with the fat, flat plains, fat plains, yes it, it is. Uh, 
what about coal? Coal is here and there. You have some rich veins of coal. Of course, iron can be seen there, like a river going downhill. That was some big, uh, that was some big volcanic reaction that created this vein of iron. And then we have oils all the way on the eastern part. Uh, of course, we have a little bit of uranium. Some of it it's on the island. Some of them in the hills in the north. And of course, you have bauxite on the coast, as you can see here. So it's a decent map, but I think a lot of you are going to be interested because this is one of those things that, um, you know, people would like to try to develop. Of course, it's an island nation. It re will recover, require a lot of shipping. So heads up on that. But anyway, I will stop here. What do you think about today's episode? Is there anything that caught your eye? <laughs> Any mod models that you actually would like to? Um, uh, what's your favorite? Of course, I'm going to go with um, uh, Mr. Robs in this one and uh, City Hall because I was looking for something like that. So City Hall is going to be my favorite this episode. I think this one is going to be quite interesting. Mr. Joe, Mr. Joe. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, like if you didn't enjoy just dislike it's not a problem uh, leave your comment in the comment section if you enjoy these videos of course you can support me you have a link you have a how in description of the video and happy monday all see you in the next one bye bye